Valve recently announced that you can go ahead and pick up your Steam Deck within a one to two week delivery window, which means that this is now available for everybody. And we've done videos in the past on what the ultimate Steam Deck accessory was, which was this Steam Deck dock from JSO, who is sponsoring today's video. And while I love this Steam Deck dock, JSO went ahead and made something so incredible. They essentially did all of my Steam Deck experiments and wrapped it into a singular device. Remember those crazy experiments where I was putting SSDs and GPUs on the Steam Deck? Well, that is made a little bit easier by the Steam Deck dock that I have in their case right here. You can see that this is a little bit physically thicker than the previous Steam Deck dock because under here is what's gonna enable you to play whatever game you want on your Steam Deck, even on the go, because it still has all of the greatness that you want in a Steam Deck dock. You USB-C power delivery, HDMI out, USB 3.1 ports, as well as a gigabit ethernet port. But on top here is the secret sauce, an actual M.2 port that on this edition actually houses a two terabyte NVMe drive, which allows you to take your games on the go. It was as simple as loading the games up on this two terabyte drive. And when I went to TwitchCon, I put it in my JSO Steam Deck carrying case and made it all the way to San Diego, and I was actually able to get my video games wherever I want. Having an M.2 port on access right in here is a revelation for anybody who's looking to get a Steam Deck, especially if you're looking to pick up something like the 256 gig or 64 gig version. You don't necessarily have to depend on just running off of micro SD cards. You can have highly expandable, high speed storage at your fingertips in this dock. And JSO has made this remarkably easy for anybody to do because you can pick it up either without any SSD, just this top end M.2 port, which as you know, I'm a fan of M.2 accessibility based on my previous videos, or for just a little bit extra money, you can pick it up with a one terabyte SSD or like the one that I have included, the two terabyte SSD. But now let me go ahead and show you how quickly it is to get this set up as a game drive in SteamOS and get yourself up and going so that you can play video games on the go, but every single game that you could possibly want on your Steam Deck, no longer limited by storage. So getting it set up is remarkably simple, just like every other JSO dock. You have all of your connections put together. We have it in its JSO case, and then you come in and you put in the right angle USB-C at the top, and then we should actually get a display up here. And now that we're in, because we have it hooked up to the HDMI, I can actually see everything that I want to do. But if we just go over to the Steam menu and make our way over to storage, you'll see that we only actually have the internal drive that's listed there. And that is because we're gonna have to make our way all the way on over to desktop mode just to get it initialized for its first setup. Once you're there, you're gonna need a web browser to actually navigate to JSO's website, who's made a very simple install script so that you can make sure you mount your drive with ease. Then once you're in a search engine, you just search JSO HB0604, which is the name of the doc. You can also search for Steam Deck Doc JSO, and that'll get you there. But if you go down, it says, our development team has prepared a script that will automatically mount the SSD after installation. Click here to download. It gets the shell script open. Now that that shell script ran, you click down here, you see the external device is now there. So it just requires a little bit more setup, just like you would on a traditional Windows desktop that you might be used to. You have to open up Steam, go to settings, go to downloads, Steam library folders, and then click add. And now you can see it has the external SSD right there for us to click add. And now we should be able to go back to the actual gaming side of things and start downloading to that SSD. And that's as simple as logging out of desktop mode. You shouldn't have to do anything besides logging out, which will take a few seconds to reboot you into the other side. And again, this is just for the first boot to get the SSD mounted on the Steam Deck in order to make sure that you're off to the races. And now that we're back in here, we're gonna go over to settings, check out storage, and we can see that we do indeed have the other drive. And now we can choose to make it our default in case we wanna do that, 
but we have two whole terabytes on this dock to actually work with, with the Steam Deck. And that removes the need to buy extra accessories like an M.2 to USB setup or an external drive where you can actually host things. This is actually much more compact, much more convenient, and I really like what JSO came up with here. Because if you're gonna be using a dock anyways, you have all of the things that you need in one single device, and then they give you the accessibility of an M.2 port, which is something that Valve took seriously with the Steam Deck, giving a user swappable SSD in there, but then also JSO is bringing that design philosophy into this dock, which will allow you to, in case you want more storage later on for whatever you're doing or change things out, you can use this M.2 port right here. So I just wanna say big thanks again to JSO for sponsoring today's video. You can check out the HB0604 dock down below in the video description. Big thanks to them for sponsoring it. I really love this thing. I think you will too, go check it out.